Good morning, Marnie here. It is Thursday, July 13th, and today is Tile of the Week Thursday. If you do not know what Tile of the Week Thursday is, it is a crochet along that was organically started by Sam and Mike at Memphis Makes. It wasn't in, intended to be a crochet along. It just kind of became a crochet along. Everyone wanted to hop on board. So what is Tile of the Week Thursday? Well, Sam received this book that was on her Amazon wish list. It is 100 crochet tiles illustrated or edited by Sarah Kellard. And when she opened it up, she vowed that she was going to do all 100 tiles, one per week until the book is finished, which would take about two years to finish. So people started to jump on board wanting to do this with her. <laughs> and I, I am very much having fun with it. Um, it's frustrating. It's very frustrating sometimes. There are some of the uh, designers that uh, I'm not a fan of. <laughs> um, maybe some of them I'm becoming not so much a fan of. But anyway, so this week's tile is tile number 49. And let me get to it. And it is called the Mindful mandala mandala i don't know how you say that but i think either way is correct mandala um it is by by katie moore well all right there you go so i chose the uh kindle version uh I've got it on my iPad here, and when I'm outside, I use it on my Kindle. <laughs> um, so the reason why I got this version is because I saw that the the uh, the one that Sam and Mike are using, they're using the actual physical book, and it falls apart. And plus, uh, with the uh, the Kindle version, I can make the picture bigger because. I don't see so well even with my glasses I, I don't see real good so making the picture bigger is a big help uh, so okay on to the tile itself um, I wasn't a fan of this one mainly because the wording there was a misprint or two uh, I think other people have seen more misprints than than what I did I I saw the one misprint but I'm not great at reading patterns. So I'm basically doing this because I think that it will improve my ability to read patterns. That's why I thought it would be a good idea to do this. You know, teach me better to read patterns. And I don't like uh, using graphs, but Putting the graph with the written pattern helps a lot. So, with this one, uh, the the one mistake that I noticed mostly, uh, I know other people have uh, uh, noticed other mistakes, but the one that I noticed was in round 11, and it is in the flower petals. The... Uh, the instruction reads to do double crochets, but at the end of that particular instruction, where it lists the stitch count of how many, you know, how many stitches of each particular stitch you should have, it says triple crochets. I don't know if that's a misprint, but I had already done the double crochets. I wasn't about to tear it out, go back and do the triple crochets. Not gonna happen. Uh, so, uh, she calls for uh, a light worsted weight yarn with a, a four millimeter hook. I just used my normal, I love this yarn, four weight yarn. I used uh, um, five, five millimeter, no, I used a five and a half millimeter. 
I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's the, yeah, I used a five and a half millimeter. Um, so my colors I'm using are white, light yellow, bright yellow, a light purple, and light a darker purple. I believe it's orchid. I don't have any ball bands in front of me. But here is my tile. And I actually blocked it lightly. And I, despite being frustrated with it, I do like the way it turned out. I did like the way it turned out. And it, and it wasn't really all that difficult. Once you get past the, you know, the misprints, I mean, it's not really hard to do. So I like the way it looks. I, will I do it again? Probably not. <laughs> Um, it was a little bit too frustrating to want to do it again, but I do like the way it turned out. And I do like my color choices. I think they all look good together. Um, so that was tile number 49. And tile number 50, the halfway point, is Love in a Mist. That is what it's supposed to look like. That's for next week. Now I will say that I actually have it done. I'm actually working on the tile after this one now, which I'm not really a fan of. Um, so uh, this this Love and Mist, Love and a Mist is also by Katie Moore. And um, it took me a little bit to realize <laughs> what this stitch was, but once I figured it out, I'm like, oh, that's what it is. Is uh, It says here, uh, croc stitch, crocodile stitch, duh. <laughs> so that's the uh, one of the special stitches, um, a two chain pico and a three double crochet bubble. Um, so this one was okay. Once I figured out that that was just a crocodile stitch, it was fine. Uh, I felt this one was, was relatively easy. And I just used the same colors uh, for that for next week's as I did for this week. It's just whatever I have in my bag at the time, that's what I'm using. The bag that I use when I'm outside. Because I've just been making these when I sit outside. So, uh... If you would like to see more tiles, all you have to do is go to the search and do hashtag Tile of the Week Thursday and you will get a whole plethora of people working on these tiles. Hours of entertainment. <laughs> so um, yeah, that is tile number 49 for this week. And now uh, I am going to Honestly, I did not get much done on the unicorn blanket. I have just been so tired, but I will show you what I've gotten so far. But before I do that, I do want to say a big, big, big thank you to Sam at Memphis Makes and Carol at Plain Vanilla Grandma. They both shouted me out yesterday which boosted up my subscriber count a little bit. So I've had my channel, let's see, September will be four years that I started, it's four years ago since I started my channel. Um, and this makes video number 515. So almost four years, over 500 videos, I still haven't made it to a thousand subscribers. <laughs> um, Yesterday morning, I was still sitting at 965. I've been stuck at 965 for a couple of weeks now. But then once uh, Sam and Carol shouted me out, they boosted me up. This morning, my subscriber count is 982. So I'm getting there. Um, so yeah, big, big thank you. I will link their channels down below. Sam and Mike at Memphis Makes and then Carol Plain Vanilla Grandma. So thank you to both of you very, very, very much. It is so, so appreciated. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and show you 
how much I didn't get done on the unicorn blanket. Be right back. Okay, here you go. So this is where I'm at so far. I'm getting close to being done with the moon part of it. The ears are just about finished. And I am doing, this here is the striping of the horn. And I absolutely love the face of this unicorn. It is so freaking cute. Um, let's see, here's, I like this star too. So yeah, that is what I've gotten done so far. I've just been really tired and uh, not into working on it that much. I just need kind of needed a break from it. I'm going to try and work on it some more tonight because, I mean, I have less than 40 rows to go now. I think, uh, well, here's my, let me reach it. Ah. So here's the hook that I'm using. It is a five and a half. And then, so there is the number of rows that I have. So maybe right at 40 rows left or 30, 30 rows. 30 rows, huh, yeah, because it goes to row 240, I'm getting ready to start row 210, so 30 rows, wow, so yeah, I'm, I'm getting there, this is what I'm going to be working on over the weekend, and then once I get this finished, I will go back to working on my sister's blanket, because I, I'm still pretty close to getting that one finished. I still have not yet attached the last roll of yarn, which is one of those big rolls of yarn. But after this is done, I will be working on that. And then I had started another Snuggie and realized I'm going to need a lot more yarn for that because the yarn that I got for it is, for some reason, it is, it's a four weight, but it's thinner than a lot of them and it's taken a lot of yarn to get where I want on it. Anyway, so this is my progress so far. And this blanket here is going to be for my youngest granddaughter, Lily, for Christmas. All right, so there you go. This includes Tile of the Week Thursday, Tile number 49. And you got to see how far I've come on my unicorn blanket. I'm getting there, and you are crooked. Mm, guess that'll have to do <laughs> my wonky tripod. I've got... I can't buy a new tripod just yet, but I do have one <laughs> in my Amazon cart. I want to get my new teeth first. That's going to be two or three months away. Um, so, there you go. I'm getting ready to have some more coffee, and I'm going to go upstairs, and I don't know what I'm going to do just yet. I'm not even ready to, to break my fast yet, so it's only 8 o'clock in the morning. All right. Um, I hope everyone has a great day. If you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I would really, really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.